Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about classroom web. So let's look at the example first. Classroom bell system. The bell should ring for 10 seconds after every 45 minutes. If add button is pressed, then there will be a time delay of 15 seconds for the bell to get on. So instead of 45 minutes, we will take only one minute. So when the start button is turned on, the bell will turn for 10 seconds and it will wait for 60 seconds and then the bell will again turn on. Then again will wait for 60 seconds and then again will turn on for 10 seconds. And if the add button is pressed, then the bell will uh, the bell will again wait for 15 seconds and then get on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram and use normally open contacts and normally close contacts. And with that, we will be also using some memory bits and timers like TP and T on. So this is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, I will go to PLC tags, <clears throat> then default tag table. I will double click on it. Here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is start button and then we have one more input that is add button and then we have one output that is alarm. Alarm or bell. So I will write bell. So this is an output so its address will start with Q and then 0.0. .0. And after that, I will uh, go to program blocks and then main ob1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will zoom into it like this. And then I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. So this normally open contact is a start button. And then there will be a coil that is for the bell. So when start button is turned on, bell gets on for 30 seconds, uh, sorry for 10 seconds. For that we will use a timer operation and that will be TP and the preset value for TP is 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds the bell will turn off and it gets off for 1 minute. So for that I will open the branch here, add a coil, so this coil will be a memory bit. So this will be M0.0. So this M0.0 should get on after one minute. So the preset value for T on will be 60 seconds. With that, this T on, here we will insert a normally closed contact and it will represent the bell. And with that, we will use here a normally closed contact and this will be same as M0.0. And then, We'll go to another network here. We will use add button here as normally open contact. <laughs> and then I will insert a coil. So this coil will be one more memory bit. And this memory bit should get on for 15 seconds. So for that we will use a TP here. And this TP will be the preset value for this will be 15 seconds. And this M0.1 will be used here as normally close contact. So this will be M0.1. So what happens when start button is turned on, bell gets on for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds bell gets off. And when it gets off, M0.0 gets on after 60 seconds and with when it gets on, here, the current will not flow through it, this gets off and then when it gets off, this gets off and then again the current flows through it and bell gets again on. And then if add button is pressed, this M0.1 gets on for 15 seconds. And for 15 seconds, this M0.1 gets on, with that the bell will not turn on for 15 seconds. So we'll start the simulation here. Click on load and then finish. And after that, I will uh, start the CPU. Okay. 
and then start monitoring. And after starting the monitoring, I will switch to project view here. And then let's create a new project. Enter. Let's go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1. Right click here and then load project tax. So here, when start button is turned on, the bell gets on and it gets on for 10 seconds and after that it gets off for 1 minute. And after one minute, bell gets again on. So if we need to, uh, if we press add button, It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.